Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to WR Britain. I don't know if it's going to be round well or not, 5. Right? Tier 3 season 13. Rain, sun icon. And um yeah, there's a weather forecast for the race. Um uh, as, as we head my second lap. Uh so we sit P9 in the standings, I believe 51 points behind uh Passy, who's the championship leader at the moment. And we're just going to get distracted by Rayliex here. Uh, and then it just completely throws off our line for the rest of the section. Three Magnus Beckett's. Bosh. But, gonna leave you my best lap now. I think. Oh no, that's the end of our lap. But here we go. Gonna leave you with a final lap of session. Enjoy. As we round the last two corners, we're going to cross the line. Two and a half tenth improvement. So 27.1. And the person on pole position right now. Will we keep pole position? Yes. We get pole position by 34 milliseconds here around Silverstone. One of my weaker tracks. But we get the pole position. And first time this season, formation lap. Um, we're going to line up the car, hopefully get a purple score, 0.2 meters, perfect, but we go to the 5, red lights, and it's Silverstone Grand Prix, where are they? That was a bit loud, I'll move a bit backwards, uh, but it's a very awful start, Half gets in front of us, but we're going to switch back in through turn 1, we're on that side of turn 2, we're going to dive it into turn, into, into, uh, into turn 3. And he holds the lead. We're going to go for another switchback. Third gear. Try and get some traction. Fourth gear. But he just out traction just. And we're going to use all the battery. We know it's crucial to use the battery here. So. We're going to go around the outside. Break about 40 metres. Well, that's a bit extreme. But you know what I mean. Stance around the outside. Have the inside for Luffield. Will we keep the lead? Come the end of sector one. Well, after the end of sector one. And yes, we keep the lead from half. Heading through Woodcut. We're thinking, does he, is he going for a move? No. He's he's smart enough to do, to not do that. I had no timing. Unlike in the 2021 Where's, season Combo? with Lewis and Verstappen, we do not collide at Cops. As we run through Mags and Beckett's for the first of 26 times. Uh, we're sitting P1. P2 half of course, three tenths behind, and we've got Cobb in P3, his first no assist race I believe. And he's straight down to P4 behind a medium runner. As we head on towards lap number three, now DRS enabled, we set the fastest lap. I believe, no it's not, but DRS is enabled, we've got seven tenths to half, and we did have a gap to Raven, but now Raven's in our DRS. Heading towards the centre of lap six. Holding our lead very well. We're not getting phased, we're on about 65% battery. And all is dandy so far. I'll see you in the lap 6. Just, oh my god, I matched my PB basically. And yeah, <laughs> we're so consistent in this race that we did a 3-3-4 with our PB being a 3-3-3. I think the next lap we did a 0.234 and we've got a strategy change which we're going to decline. Um, but you can see 
the gap between me and Harv and then Harv and Raven is basically the same, about 8 tenths. And we nearly break the DRS coming to turn 3 on lap number 9. But we just didn't quite have enough pace for that. But we get a radio message. Yeah, so the rain we're expecting will come towards the end of the Grand Prix. Um, as we head in towards the final chicane, Raven boxes, he gets a 5 second penalty. Which will make his life a bit harder. And we come through Mason Beckett's and Harv gets a 3 second. So, so far, between our two main rivals in this race, it's looking good. It's looking very good. We've broken the DRS coming on to lap 13. <coughs> and we've got to focus on maintaining this gap. Um, and just wait for him to box, which he does on that exact same lap. Could get back in the DRS, so he boxes. We're going to continue on one more lap on lap 14. The plan to box on lap 15, which we do. We break earlier than our reference, but we let off the break a bit too early. And we sped by a mile an hour. But coming to the pit exit, we're onto the medium compound tyres. 37 seconds later. Bit of a slide as we let go of the um, pit limiter. A bit more of a slide with the cold tyres. We're going to come out alongside Harv. In towards turn three, but we don't have the tire grip, so he's just gonna dance around the outside. We're gonna hopefully stay in front of Tom. He has a 10 second time penalty for whatever reason. I ain't got a clue why. And you can just see Harv and Raven, they've got so much more traction in us, they just drive off into the distance. But we're gonna stay on board until towards the end of the lap, actually. We've got to warm up the tires a little bit. A small weave there, probably put half a degree in. Heading through turn, I think, seven for Luffield. And you can see the gap is about 7 tenths, so we're going to use a bit of battery to make sure we don't lose it through cops. Tire temps looking about 80 degrees, so they're getting into their window nearly. We're still about 10 degrees off, but we're at a point in the tire temps where we won't be too much slower than the cars in front, and we have a downforce advantage. We we're actually running four more rear wing than hard, so we had way more grip through sector 2. And we're also running a lower ride height. Uh, shout out nice. to Eero Connor Eddie for the uh, setup for this race. But you can see Harvard Raven having a scrap through Stowe. Very respectful battling. The, the whole race, me, Harvard and Raven just had the most respectful battling. And we're going to look to maybe go for a switchback, but we don't quite have the grip yet to really plant the throttle down like we'd like to. But we're in the fight. And Raven, he's going to. He's a bit slow. He's lifting through turn one. You don't have to do that, mate. But we're going to set him up for an absolute send around the outside of turn 3 into, vi into is it the village. I don't know. Uh, but we get the move done through turn 4. And that's crucial. It's Harv up next. We're going to go through Magnus and Beckett in a minute. But we're going to see the pace advantage through these corners. We're three and a half tenths behind. And look, we're already under the three tenth barrier. But this is where the dark, dirty air really kicks in. It's also where the slipstream kicks in. But we've gained a tenth and a half through that section. We're going to put the battery on. We've got the slipstream. We've got the DRS. But I think Harv's using his battery. So we put ours back on. And we're going to look for a move up into Stowe. But Harv closes the door as he's allowed to. So we back out of that one. And prepare for a move into Club and Dwayo. Into the Vale Chicane then. Going to get a decent run on him. We get the exit. We're going to avoid the curb just to leave him as little space as possible. But there was still space there. And we get into the lead, lap 20. And we're five tenths ahead. We've broken the DRS to Raven, who's also got now got a track limits penalty on top of his speeding penalty. But it's raining. Lap 21, it started raining by now. Oh, I'm just thinking, we're going to have a grip advantage over Harv when it actually starts tipping it down because we have two or three lap fresher tyres. Which, around this circuit, it's about 12%. DRS gets disabled. So even though we weren't able to break it all race. We, we have now got that safety barrier. Lap 25 now. And we just about broke the DRS. We need 1.1 1 .1 seconds one more second. from here to the checkered flag to win this Grand Prix. Can we do it? Well, I'm going to leave you the last lap so you can find out yourself. Enjoy.
Please, please, please. Yes! Come on! Oh my. Yes! Oh my yes! god. And for the first time in WR history, we get a race win on pure pace yes! and not stewarding penalties. And it just feels so good. It was by the slightest of margins. GG's? But. We get the race win. We've deserved this all season long. We've been so unlucky. We got straight lined in Miami from P2 on the grid. We were going to have a massive battle with half the whole race. And we were Uno reverse him for the pole position here. As he got pole by, by 2 milliseconds then. And we got 34 milliseconds here. But we become the fifth different winner in five races in WR season 13. And... We're going to look to continue this form. Um, I have not included the champion standings as a graphic at the end of this video. But I can tell you, we are now P5 oh in the standings. 30, uh, no, sorry, 43 points behind the championship leader, Passy. Unless I've done my maths wrong or they've done their maths wrong. But here are the results. We get P1. Harv, 42 milliseconds. He misses out on the win on penalties. Passy, P3. Great drive from him. Uh, Tim was amazing P4 and Cobb in his first noise this race in P5. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and more League Racing content coming soon. Goodbye.